Hey guys, what's up? I'm here, and this is part two of how to survive and thrive. The guide has still not moved in, but he will move in later. Actually, you know what? What you might have to do if he still does not move in, put the guide and put him right there, and that will be his new house. So, as I left off, we were going to go mining. Now, this is part two. You will need to go mine to go find some resources. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and start mining. You want to find a cave anywhere? Oh, there's some iron. Iron can appear in the surface. Um, it is not very common, but it has happened. It, it's not. It's common, but does not happen that often. Like the quantity is not very much. It's pretty much like three or four. I cannot get that. So yeah, you want to go and uh, find a cave. I cannot get there, so I'm going to just, just go the other way. Yeah. There might be a cave down there. If you if you see like a little crack, there can be a cave. That has happened to me once. But yeah. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and do this. Uh, there should be a cave nearby. So, it, as you see, it is uh, the sun is setting gonna get dark soon so yeah you want to find a cave as soon as possible uh, let's get that come on there we go okay so there's some copper ore you want to make sure you mine every single thing as in like all the ores there's a cave that should be a good cave so yeah you want to break the pots as well because those will give you some good items for the beginners for um once you get into terraria and you get a lot of stuff going on then you won't need it that often i'm not going to actually stop for that one piece of copper if you can if you're very desperate and you want to get everything then yeah you can i'm not going to do that i'm just going to get like the the good quantities cuz copper ore isn't too useful but i still suggest getting it so yeah as you see i have now 14 ore, so yeah, that's pretty good. Not really, that's very little. So yeah, you want to go ahead and find more stuff. These are also coins. Later on, there are more NPCs which you can buy. So uh, you can use those coins to buy stuff from them. And also, once you get 50 coins, you can get your first NPC. Well, your second NPC, the merchant. Uh, yeah, he's actually pretty easy because all you need is 50 silver. I mean, seriously, it won't take you very long. Because of all the pots that you find, there, you might even have one gold after you're mining. And, uh, the coins go copper, silver, gold, and then platinum. Platinum is the highest, so it requires 100 of each coin to go to the next tire. There are also underground chests that you can use. Um, well not you can use, you can loot. So yeah, I suggest getting them but also securing the area. So there we go. And uh, you can just press the loot all button and as you see I just got 42 silver. Now what I also suggest, um, you need iron to make chest. I mean really who wants to spend that much iron just to make a chest? I suggest going to your craft, getting a crafting table. You might need this later on too. but yeah get a, get a crafting table and go ahead and make a hammer this pretty much get gets rid of background blocks like dirt like the dirt walls or your wood walls it's very useful but it's very slow so yeah that's that I'm gonna go ahead and break these oh, actually I saw something down there because sometimes you can actually find stuff since Terraria is I think you, this would be second person. I don't know. But yeah, you can see a lot of things. So I think, I, yeah, there we go. Iron right there. It's perfect. You want to go in and get as much iron as you can. As later on, we will be fighting a boss. Uh, very soon, we will be fighting a boss and you will need iron ar armor. I, really, I highly suggest iron armor. Copper armor is if you're pretty good with these kind of games. But yeah, I'm not the best. But I'm okay. So let's go. Um, also, if you want, you can collect some stone, and that will actually be a good material to build with. Ah, okay, there we go. So yeah, 
to go ahead and put that down and just move on. Yeah, not very many, not, there's not many, um, ores yet because, oh, there's another chest. But yeah, there's not many ores because we have not reached the level for ores. See, the dirt level will not have, a, like, anything, but other layers will. So, the next thing you want to also look for is, um, uh, they're called heart crystals. What they do is raise your hearts. So, as you see, you only have 100 hearts. That's not going to do you much. You're going to die very quickly. So, you need to go ahead and find some heart crystals. You need to break them with the hammer that I told you to craft. So, yeah, make sure you have that hammer. And the max health you can have is 400 unless you have a mod which I think there is a mod, I'm pretty sure there is, that gets you more. So I actually got a spear. This is a very good beginner's weapon, believe me. And I would certainly get it. And see, so you can, um, oh, whoopsies. There we go. See, this is, pr this can reach pretty far, and yeah, it's very useful. If you want to go and kill some enemies without getting so close with your copper short sword. Or any other sword. Oh, ah, I keep going to the wrong blocks. Okay, let's go and get that pot. Because pots can contain a lot of money if you get a whole bunch of them. And there could also be something here. Oh, there's another place to go. How far? Okay, that's it. Let's go ahead and just do that. Got everything. Let's get out now. Oh, that's an eyeball. That's that's one of your first enemies. He is pretty hard after you, um, the first time you encounter him. But he does get easy. Don't worry. Uh, you just need some armor and a good weapon. So I'm gonna go and wait till he comes down here. Come on, hurry up, cause you might not want him to come later, as he can do a lot of damage on you. Uh, whatever. He's not gonna come all the way down here. I don't think he will. So yeah, that's that. Um, ooh, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put down a torch. I have to get out of the water though. Uh, there are also other things called glow sticks. Glow sticks pretty much allow you to see underwater with light, and you just throw them or hold them. I suggest throwing them most of the time so you can loot anything under there. There are also silver ore, which is right there. So yeah. Um, I do not have any more blocks, so I'm going to go ahead and resort to my dirt blocks again. I was going to use my wood, but you don't... I, I wouldn't suggest using your wood too often. Because they are better for other things. So let's go ahead and get up here. And mine that. Because silver is very rare if you're all the way up here. But once you get underneath to the good layers, then you will get a lot of good ore. And actually, I see some copper ore, so make sure you keep your eyes peeled for that. Because copper ore is, it's not just for armor. Later on in the game, you will see that it, it can do a lot more than just armor. You can build a lot, you can make a lot of stuff with it. Craft, I, mean, I meant. Oh my god. Okay, well yeah. Very useful. Highly suggest you get it. So, yeah. This is not very, it's not working out for me. There we go. Okay, so you want to get to any ore you can find because they are very useful in the beginning of the game. Now, if I wouldn't just play for a little bit when you're mining. I would play for a long time because you guys can actually find it a lot because it does take a while just to get to the layer by a cave. If you just dig a hole straight down, it'll, t it'll be a little faster. But yeah, I would still loot all the caves down torch yep so this is pretty much what you're gonna do for the second part uh yeah just keep on mining so I won't be recording every time I play but I will be recording sometimes to kinda show you some tips this is just episode 2 of what you should do and after this it's gonna be kind of in a random event uh, Order, and I actually can't go anywhere so I'm gonna go and resort to mining down so yeah uh, they won't all be in order but uh, mo they should be mostly in order because I will record sometimes when I play 
So yeah, you should also build a furnace, well craft one, and make sure you cook your ores, or smelt. So yeah, there we go, and this is pretty much how you're gonna mine. Shadow Gamer, see ya, rate, comment, subscribe.